Hello friends, you probably know that there are several types of variegations among adenium plants. Some have more white, some less, some have not white but yellow, some have it freckled, some have like geometric shapes, some have young leaves variegated that turn into green later, some have white on edges only, some have a discoloration not white or yellow but red. right here. Simply, they are plants that have a beauty even when not in bloom. And there is more and more of them born all the time. Usually, some of the seedlings are born variegated. Problem is that they usually have so much white and so little or none green that they die for lack of photosynthesis. Like here. Like here, people are documenting it on the internet. The other type of variegation is by branch mutation and it recently happened to me again. I wanna show you. Let me get outside. Goodbye computer. What happened here is that uh, well, let, let me push it aside, pull it aside so you see the whole plant. What happened here is that the caterpillar of a moth called Oleander hawk moth ate the whole top of one of the branches of this seedling, including the top bud. The new buds formed and new leaves were completely, completely white, like you can see this one here. But the branch didn't die because photosynthesis was happening in the other twig. This twig was much smaller than this one but grew faster because it had a greenery. Then gradually these leaves that were white start to get green in them. So what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be, oh, it's raining, let me stop. Okay, I'm on the roof. So what's gonna happen? Are all the white ones going to turn green? And are all the new ones going to be completely green? This is one of the two ways how variegation disappears. Either it's too white and it dies, or it turns green. New, leaf takes, new leaves are green and those take over those branches takes over. So even though variegation in new plants is common, relatively, to have a stable cultivar of a variegated adenium is not so easy to make. And that's why who has it can multiply it by grafting and spread it around, beautifying the earth. 
I have one that I purchased variegated. Let me show you. Okay, here it is. Grafted variegated adenium that is stable. From which I grafted branches to other ones meanwhile. So you see each leaf is very beautiful. I try to multiply it by seedlings. When I use this plant as a mother plant, all the seedlings were complete albino and died. When I try to use this plant as a pollen parent, all the seedlings were completely green, completely non-variegated. So it seems easy to create a stable variegated adenium, but it's not as easy as it appears. So will this one, which started as a branch mutation, be new variegated adenium or revert to green probably revert to green but only time will tell and until then goodbye friends <laughs>